I clap my hands. Firstly, for the previous speakers and the speakers to come, for your marvelous, enlightening speeches on creativity in different kinds of fields. And I clap my hands for this hall, for the marvelous creation in technology and beauty of arts. I clap my hands for every one of you. According to the law of attraction, it is because of you, your curiosity, your presence, your efforts, that made this marvelous program come true. And finally, I clap my hands to myself for my courage to stand here in front of all of you to share my life stories, which may not be come on, may be very unique. Firstly, I'm not a some big person. I I do not own a bit money. I do not have high social position. I'm a very simple person. I'm not a technician. So, why should I hear? And I think most of us, just like me, we are all ordinary person. So creativity, how can we present it in our everyday life? How can we inspire from our inner wisdom and show it to the world around us? Uh, I have lived. Actually, I was born in a city in China. It is Shanghai. I think most of you may know that. In 1980s, and my parents, my father, is a painter, and. I thank for him because he passed passed his talent to me, and I found in arts very much. But he said to me, "I don't wish you to become an artist like I am. You know why? Because you won't own a lot of money." And so in my childhood, I found myself always have a lot of questions. And a lot of thoughts that is beyond my age. I always said to my parents, "You know what? We are here not for challenge, not for competition, but for love. And some such such, such as、uh, I can be of any kind of age. I can be 100, 100 age, and I can be zero age at the same time." And I don't know why I speak like that. And my parents took me like aliens. In fact, it is real the case. When I was six, I loved to look up into the skies. And one day, when I looked up, I saw a moving point, shining. And I'm sure somehow it is not a plane. And I show it to my parents and the other relatives when they were、uh, somehow gathered at my home, and they say, "Wow, it's like a UFO." So, I believe that. I don't know whether you believe it or not, but I think how an alien people can live in modern world like this so fast. The pace is so fast, and. The air conditions is not good. There are a lot of pollutions, and I somehow I can feel my heart hurt it. And I find that actually every one of us, we were little child. But when we grow up, somehow the passion, just like what the first speakers. Said in his DVD presentation that where the passion go, why? How can we keep it in our life? So I grow up very normally, study hard, cause I was being told that it is the only way to be normal, to be taken as normal, and can be considered to 
get a lot of wealth and get higher st status and can be respected by people. So I studied very hard, and I don't know why. And even until, it is until when I get somehow a chance to come here in Hong Kong in 2001, and it really opened my eye. My university life in the University of Hong Kong was very interesting, and also it's just like a cultural shock to me. How could life be like that? I thought at that time. I come across a lot of people with different beliefs and faces, and even religious beliefs. beliefs. I come across uh, from Christians to Buddhism, and even to New Age movement. And I find I'm so curious about who we really are. And in that time, I actually I conduct sociology and American studies. Uh, and when I graduated, uh, after I get an MPhil degree, I got a chance to come to America uh, as a visiting scholar. And during this process, I found from time to time, and more and more, that to study is not my choice. It's not my interest, actually. So I want to give up and really try something that I'm interested in. And I think will be meaningful to more people in the world. At that time, it is quite a harsh time for me, actually, to make such a tough decision. Am I going to please, please my parents to make them happy, or am I going to live the truth myself? And finally, I made the decision that I quit the PhD, and I, at that time, I don't know what I should do, but chance came. It is just like a miracle that one day I just read my emails and find one email that uh, presenting a private school here in Hong Kong, that they are hiring a program manager to conduct summer programs with children. And this private school named Gaia School, very interesting one, and they actually want to use a creative way for education. And in these pictures, you can see that children, they are protected to keep their childhood creativity, the passion, when using a lot of natural tools like this, leaves and plants, uh, the fruits, to create patterns they want and play, simply play. And teacher as me, just play with them. And from that period, I thought I'd refine myself, refine my passion, from and, and just reset my mindset as when I come back to when I was six years old. So, in this case, I think I made the right choice. And in the, that organization, I have a lot of times to get into nature and learn from nature. Uh, and it is also the time that I move from urban cities to suburban islands. I lived in Lantau Island for years and lived in this small village named Tong Fo. I, I think maybe some of you may notice the village because it's very close. It's just between Mui Wo and Tai O. And it's a very quiet village which is very famous for have a lot of cows, cattles. And the first day I arrived in this village, I was shocked by these huge cows just sitting on the streets. And I find that I learned a lot from them. They are so quiet. They enjoy every present moment. They, they will not thought what uh, the future will be or what the past was like. 
they just enjoy, enjoy the food, the grass, and you enjoy the weather, no matter it is sunny or it's raining. And I had a lot of stories with the cows. One of them、uh, I want to share with you. One day, when I got off the bus and went back home, I saw a group of people. They are gathering around a cow. I just go closely and see what happened. And the cow I found is strongly hurted. Is sometimes you see they actually it has the main road and bus comes by, and the cow is just nearby. So sometimes it may be some、uh, careless drivers that made the cow hurt it. And I saw the cow laid on the ground. And I come closer, and my heart somehow I can feel its pain. So I I made some. Pray for it, and I do strongly wish that it will get recovered very soon. And the miracle happened in a minute. It got up in front of me. I don't know why, cause when I asked one of my neighbor, who is an Indian, he is an engineer,、uh, in Indian tradition, they. Actually, respect cows. So he he's very friendly with the cows, and he said, "I spent three hours with that cow. I called the police, but it seems she looks hopeless. So I think it's a miracle. It's not because I made this prayer to make it alive again, but I I want to share with you that I think somehow the universe let me see this kind of event." Let me see the great potentiality of every living being. Not only we human, but animals. Somehow, days after, I saw another animal, which is swallow. A swallow. It is also it's trembling because the weather is very、uh, windy on that morning. And when I went to the balcony on that morning, I saw that swallow. Just standing at、uh, the platform of my、uh, balcony, and it's it seems terribly、uh, yield. So I don't know what to do. My left hand always told me, "What can I do? I'm not a healer. I can do nothing for it. Should I put it away, or should, what should I do? I don't know." But my right hand, my imagination told me that. Just calm down. Just you can communicate with it, and I try to communicate with it with my heart. And somehow, I feel that it become the swallow become calm more and more calm, and all of a sudden, it fly again. It fly. When I saw it fly, I found myself relieved. So I th- I think actually in nature I could find a lot of other stories that we can find in nature the inspirations like、uh, from the, the animals the dogs the birds if you trust it and love it and I think they will return their trust and love to you and I also love to walk around the gardens the wild areas and. Communicate with plants, and enjoy, and、um, inspired by their by their beauties and incense. And also, I was touched by the universe. As I said, I always like to look up the sky, look up the clouds, the suns, and the moons. And while as I find that many of us. When we were taking the underground railway, I noticed that most of us are just looked down to our master phone. So,、uh, when you actually, if you do not have opportunity to go out into the wild nature, you can always look up the sky and find miracles like clouds, like a dragon shape. Sorry, like dragon shape, sorry,、uh, and also like leaves. And、uh, like I don't know what, but the beauty always cheer me up. So I, 
I have the talent of art presentation, so when during my daily life, in my leisure time, I want, I'd like to draw something just for myself. Uh, I can get inspirations from the outside world, especially in the nature, as I find the wing of the butterfly and inspired me to this painting named as Wings of Love. But also, I am inspired from within. My dreams, my meditation, what I get, uh, in, uh, the inner wisdom from the meditation, and also my, my imagination. Um, and also, I can cheer myself up from my paintings. One day, I, I, I did not feel very well. I'm very emotional. And I cried. I don't know why. So when I get a phone and my boyfriend who is sitting among you, he said to me, well, look out into the sky. And I go out and look into the sky and I find a rainbow over there. I tend to notice all these signs, the symbols in my daily life. And I find that it tells me everything. The rainbow, when will a rainbow appear? Usually after the rain. And in our lives, there are many harsh times. Say, my parents, even up to now, they cannot understand or accept what I'm doing. They still treat me as a loser, and they, they keep silent when they talk me in front of the others. So I feel some kind of painful, and I always get into depressed about that. But now I think it's a very, very treasurable gift to me, because without their misunderstanding, I cannot have the passion, the motive to go deeper inside and to question myself who I am really are. So I draw this painting over the rainbow just to cheer myself up. And I think that creativity is quite simple, actually. You do not need to be a technician, but you can use it into your daily life. Like I become a holiday farmer and grow the plants, the vegetables and fruits for myself, and I do enjoy cooking. And I can paint for my house, just for fun. And creativity can be also in different forms, not only paintings or drawings. A haircut by myself will be a good one. And nowadays, I move to another NGO, which is promoting green lifestyle for the uh, general public. And I'm the editor for a monthly magazine. So I use creativity in my work nowadays. And also it can be dance just for free. And it can be any other kind of creations. And you can create actually anytime, anywhere. Use a sketchbook, use a pencil, colored pencil. You can jot down the, your thoughts as well as your ob observations every day. And also, you can do it alone or work with others. Say, so in this workshop, I work with the others to create a, chalk, a colored chalk make mandala together. And in another, another concert, I work with a, con a group of musicians and in dancing and singing. And also, I use creativity to celebrate every step of my life. Years ago, I started to celebrate my birthday by drawing birthday cards to myself. And also, I can celebrate marriage for my friends and celebrate death for insects or for myself. This is, I wrote a will and put it in my wallet and reminds myself what I'm going to do when I, after my die, death, that I will share my wisdom my emotions, feelings to the universe. And I think that creativity can record uh, 
all kinds of joy and sadness and make transform uh, transformations. Actually, we can trust our intuitions, enjoy the process, which is the most important, and discover who you really are. And actually, we are the creator of our own life. So if we connect to the creative source and find the inner power of ourselves, we can bring more happiness and creativity to the world around. So what I want to say, since time is up, we should dare to change and proud to be different. Be possible, responsible to your choice and make the world more diverse. So thank you, all of you. Thank you.